Um, next up is um, uh, Doug Wood. And uh, you want to come up, Doug? And I'll, while he's coming up, I'll introduce him to you. He's a board member of West Michigan Environmental Action Council. And he's the one who nominated Tanya for the prestigious George Hartwell Environmental Legacy Award, which she went on to win. So um, here we go, Doug. All right. You sound like you should be on radio. <laughs> that was fabulous. Uh, last uh, summer, I saw Terry Sabo somewhere, and I said, hey, Terry, who's running for the 91st? And he, I think he knew, but he didn't tell me. And then in July, I got a uh, Facebook message, I think, from Tanya and said, hey, you know, I'm going to run. And I go, hey, that's exciting. And then in August, my wife and I did a river cruise, and you try to keep your phone off because you don't want to get a lot of uh, things on your phone. And But anyway, I got a message and said, uh, would you give a talk at my campaign announcement? I said, absolutely. And then last Saturday, I just got back uh, from an 860-mile bike ride from Fort Erie, Ontario, to uh, Bar Harbor bicycle, not a motorcycle. <laughs> Anyway, when you ride a bike, you do two things. Uh, one is you pay attention. Potholes, cars, what have you. And the other is you have time to think about things. So I thought, how did I get to know Tanya? Well, as it turns out, I recall uh, our daughter uh, did, was a volunteer for Tanya when she was with the, uh, yeah, the Federation and our daughter did some work, and she was in high school. My daughter's 40 now. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's how I got to know Tanya, and then uh, a few years after that, I was, uh, wasn't mentioned, but I was uh, public works director for Kent County for 24 years. And uh, also, I was on the North Shore City Council for a while, but I got off, I didn't like it. But anyway, uh, I'll, that'll, flow in here in a second, but anyway, um, so my daughter went on to University of Michigan Environmental Science and also an environmental attorney, so there was some influence there, Katie. Thank you. Uh, Mary mentioned the, uh, I am on the West Michigan Environmental Action Council board. I've been on there like three or four years now. It's a great board. It's 50 years old. They have do environmental education. They advocate for things. I'm sure uh, Mary and, and Marcia heard of the council and uh, various issues that come to the legislature. And uh, I was aware of Tanya's uh, hard work on recycling, solid waste activities, all our other environmental work. So I, when they asked for nominations, I nominated uh, Tanya and it was approved by the board. And let me read uh, the... Um, about the award. Uh, the WENIAC established the Hartwell uh, Environmental Legacy Award in honor of uh, Grand Rapids Mayor George K. Hartwell. The award honors elected and appointed public sector leaders from across the political spectrum who have created positive change on behalf of our region and state's natural resources and public health. And I think Tanya has certainly done that. Uh, anyway, uh, in between there, meeting my daughter and, and the award, we were on a number of committees together, solid waste, I think, in Muskegon County, and uh, I was familiar, being public works director for Kent County, is familiar a lot with solid waste because we built a new $10 million recycling facility, we took solid, we took recyclables from Muskegon, and anyway, uh, I had discussions with Tanya about that uh, over the years. My final comments are, a couple days ago, I had to look up, um, I said, what, what does a legislator, legislator really have to do? And what should they know? And so I went online, and the National Conference of State Legislatures has tips for legislators. And there are 15 of them, but I picked out eight and I'm sure, I, I know for a fact, Tanya has the characteristics that will meet these uh, tips. T 
take the high road. Daniel will take the high road. Know where to get help. She's not afraid to ask for help. Develop a specialty. Tanya has a specialty. But when you're in the legislature, even if her specialty is environmental or education, they might stick her in roads. Who knows? But whatever it is, she'll do her best and seek help to understand it. Vote your conscience. Certainly, Tanya will do that. Uh, don't burn bridges. <laughs> I like that one. I, you know, Tanya, even if somebody disagrees with her, she uh, is not going to go in a, uh, off the deep end. She's going to maintain that relationship because she wants to understand the issues. Keep your word. Tanya will keep her word. If she says, this is what I'm going to do, she's going to do it. Stay in touch with your constituents. We know she'll, she will do that. And be a problem solver. I know Tanya will be a problem solver. She's been a problem solver all the time I've known her. Thank you.